Hi, this is Mark Roth, and this is Mathematics for Social Justice. Today's lesson is part two of Go to the Red Room, but we're going to show an application to the game Solitaire. It's sold on Amazon as Q, And in this game, there's you can put a peg in every hole, except we can leave the middle hole empty. It's a peg jumping game. So if you have a peg here and a peg here, you can start by jumping over this peg, landing here and removing this peg. So every time you jump over a peg, you remove it. The goal is to end up with as few pegs as possible. The ultimate goal would be to end up with one peg in the middle. This is related to go to the red room activity, which was uh, from a previous video. So if this is the yellow room, red room, green room, and blue room, if you go back and look at that video again, if you're in the yellow room and you're told to go to the red room, you go, do go to the red room. And if you're in the red room, you're told to go to the blue room, you go to the green room. If you're in the green room, you're told to go to the blue room, you go to the red room. So basically, these three colors, whenever you're told to go from one to another, you go to the third one. Now, if you're in the red room and you're told to stay in the red room, you go to the yellow room. Likewise, if you're in the green room and you're told to stay in the green room, you go to the yellow room. And if you're in the blue room and you're told to stay in the blue room, you go to the yellow room. So basically, it looks like this. If you're in the red room and told to go to the blue room, you go to the green room. So you go. So for these three colors, if, you go, if you're told to go from one to a second one, you end up going to the third one. And this is commutative. So if you're in the blue room and you're told to go to the red room, you still go to the green room. So also red room, green room takes you to blue room. And blue room, green room, takes you to red room. Now, if you're told to stay in any of these three rooms, you go to the yellow room. So we can write it like this. If you're in the red room and you're told to stay in the room, that's we can call that R squared. It's a multiplication. And that's equal to being in the blue room and told to stay in the blue room. And that's equal to being in the green room and told to stay in the green room. In each case, you go to the yellow room. So why does that have anything to do with this? Well, let's first of all call this one, say, red, blue, and green. So if this hole was empty, you'd jump the red over the blue and land in the green. So you'd be vacating these two holes and ending up in here. Well, that's equivalent. See, look, red and blue is supposed to take you to green. In this case, red and blue take you to green. So you're, you're actually transferring this peg to here and removing this peg. But it, the effect is you're emptying out these two holes and adding a peg in this hole. So you're following this particular scheme. We can use that to analyze the game. So what we're going to do is make sure every time you have three consecutive holes that you're using three of the colors, red, blue, and green. So here we could go red, blue, green, red, blue, green, and red. And here I could go, let me try to do it with blue, green, red, blue, green, red, blue. That forces this to be green, that forces this to be blue, and red. So we have green, blue, red, green, blue, red, and green. And then we just continue. Every time you have three in a row, you repeat. So blue, green, red, blue, green. Red, blue, green, red, blue. Red, blue, green, red. Blue, red, green, blue, red. And uh, blue, red, green, blue. And green, blue, red, green. So it turns out these three basically sort of cancel out to yellow in a sense because red times red and blue 
is equal to green and green and green is yellow. So basically these three are equal to yellow. And so are these three and uh, these three, these three, these three, these three, these three, these three, and these three, and these three. So what's left are these three colors. If you look at red and green, together they make blue. And with this blue, you have two blues. Blue and blue is equal to yellow. So this whole thing is, every three cancels to yellow as we know. Now if you empty out this hole, you're basically left with red and green, which is equal to blue. So now the whole thing is basically equal to, to blue. Another way to, to say it is we know blue, blue squared is equal to yellow. So if you take away a blue, you have a blue left. So the way this works is you can basically do an inversion where everything that's filled becomes empty and then this becomes filled. Basically, if you emptied out everything and put a blue here, it'd still be equal. You can mathematically change this to blue right there and have everything else empty. And every time you do a jump, nothing changes. For example, in this situation we talked about, red and blue becomes green. So, uh, but red and blue alone are, are equal to green. So you're not really making a change when you go from red and blue to green. It turns out that when you play the game, you can be left with things that, that make blue. So for example, you could be left, say, with a, a green and a red somewhere. Suppose these are the last two pegs. If you're left with a green and a red, it's equal to blue. Or you could, you can add a blue to this and then another blue. So you could be left with four pegs, a green, a red, and two blues, and you couldn't make any more moves. Or the ideal situation, you're left with just one blue here. Now, since this peg is in a red hole, you can't uh, have this peg end up here. But you can have this peg end up here because it's blue. So the high Q set often comes with uh, like a black peg and all the rest are red. And you can try to say, okay, this is the, this is the peg I want to have finish in the middle. So there's a famous book, uh, it's a four volume set called Winning Ways for Your Mathematical Place. And uh, it's by the famous mathematicians, Conway, Berlecamp, and Guy. And volume four has a write up on this, on this activity. Um, I guess you could call it a game you're playing against yourself.